Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to make an A2 size box envelope because the cards I tend to make are thicker and it better accommodates my cards. You're going to want to start off with a piece of card stock that is 8 and 1 8 by 10 and 1 8. And with the long side up to the fence, you're going to want to move your paper over 2 8 and score it the 3 and a half mark. And then you flip your paper around and line up that score line with a 7 inch mark. And you're going to see next to your 7 inch mark there's a 7 and then there's an arrow. And you're going to want to score down the arrow so you have two parallel lines. And on this side, you're going to want to score it at 2 and a half. And flip the paper around, line up that 2 and a half. It's going to go off the board here. That's fine. It's supposed to. You're going to line up that score line with 7 inches, and you're going to score it again at 7 in the arrow. And then you're going to put your paper up to the fence short ways, and you're going to move your paper over 2 and a half eighths. And you're going to want to score at the 1 and a half. And then flip it around, line up that score line with a 7 inch mark again, and score again at 7 and the arrow. And on this side, I'm going to move it over 2 and a half again, 2 and a half eighths, score it 1 and a half, flip it around, do the same thing, line it up with a 7, line that score line up with a 7 inch mark, and score again at 7 in the arrow. And now this is going to be like watching paint dry because now I'm going to cut. <laughs> Make sure you cut where the innermost lines intersect to make your tabs. So I'm going to cut all of these out. Probably not cutting very straight only because I got the tripod in my way here. It'll be good enough to show you how to make this envelope. And the last one. Okay. Now you're going to want to fold all your score lines. Make sure you get that little extra space there. You want to round your corners, well, four corners here. I'm just using my Fisker's punch. This doesn't always round it perfectly. Let me get it in here. Ugh. It is so hard working around a tripod. Okay, I ran out of my score tape, so I'm going to use my ATG. And you're probably going to want to use more than I'm using. I'm just doing a little bit so you can see. Just make sure you box it off nice on each side. And there you go. You have your A2 box envelope. You can put nice thick cards in there. All right, that's it for today. I hope this helped you out. Bye.